What's up guys, I'm Pede Beats and if you want to make insane art beats using all these stock plugins in FL Studio, this is the video for you. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is open Morphine. This is my favorite stock plugin. Let's try to find a sound that we can use. I know that here we have a good guitar, but I want something like a bell, so let's go in the keyboard section. Yeah, remember that I use this one a lot. And now let's lay down a simple art melody. Let's go to 160 BPM so it's going to be faster and perfect for these art beats. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's just copy this over and maybe let's uh, let's find another sound. Not this one. Yeah, this one is good. To make this melody I just played around with these two semitones and then here I went up to the root note and that's a strategy that I like to use when I make hard melodies and uh, this is really simple but it can work for these beats. So a trick that I can tell you is to not delete instantly your melodies if you don't like them. You can still flip it and add some effects and maybe it will turn out fire so let's try. So the first thing that I'm going to add is an EQ like this. Okay, the next thing that I want to add is Fin Micro. It's a free plugin that is adding a pitched up delay. Yeah, I like that. But before Fin Micro, I want to add the chorus on this. So when I add Fin Micro, I like to render the melody. And now we can try to flip it. Let's try to reverse this. Let's try to speed it up and stretch it to the 5. That's hard. Okay, so I really like that. So now I want to add some piano bass notes. I don't really like the sound of uh, FL keys. So FL Studio Stock comes with this pack folder. And here we can go to instrument and use the close grand piano. I really like this. I think it's better than FL keys. Yeah, it's better. Let's lower the velocity of the top one. And let's create some variation. Yeah, I like that. On this piano, I don't have any effects, but uh, this mixer channel is linked uh, to a melody bus, where I have a stereo shaper to make the sound more wide, and then a cue to cut the low end from all the melodies. So it's going to sound more clean when we are going to add the 808. So now I want to add another sound. I remember that in Toxic Bihazar, we have a really good sound here. This one, I think. Yeah, it's like a whistle. Yeah, that's fire. To make this melody, I just used the, these two semitones that we also used in the main melody, so it's going to sound good. And then at the end, I created some variation using again two semitones. But I think this whistle is too invasive, so let's add an EQ to cut some bad frequencies. Yeah, something like that can work. And then we can add uh, some reverb to push it in the background. Okay, so now I want to add a piano on this, so let's uh, just clone this uh, preset, and uh, let's try to paste the first melody that we made in this piano. Yeah, and let's create some variation at the end. This is sounding a little bit too robotic, so I'm going to click Alt R to randomize the velocity a little bit. So on this we can add the same chorus that we added before to the main melody. And I want to add some reverb on this. 
Okay, now the sample is becoming full. And as you can see, this time we just uh, recycled the first melody that we made. And sometimes it's good also to reuse your melodies because it's going to sound good. And another thing that I wanted to tell you is that if you're stuck and you don't know what to add, I like to follow this formula. So I like to start with a texture as we did. The more unique it is, the better because it's going to give that character to the beat. Then, of course, I like to add my bass notes and another more crowded melody like this piano that we can use for the chorus. And then I like to add some counter melodies that are basically just accents that are going just to spice up the beat. So let's add another melody like that. Here, I think in the orchestral section, we have this choir. It's raw, but we can add some effects on this later. Yeah, I like that. And here it's really simple. I just used again this uh, two semiton that we are always playing with. And at the end I went up just to create some variation. So on this we can add an EQ. And I want to add some reverb on this because it's sounding too low. Yeah, that's better. So now I think the melody is almost done, but I want to add a bass that we can use in the intro. Right now I'm going in my Enigma multi kit and uh, use a Riz bass, and you can get the free version in the link in the description, so if you want to check it out. This one is crazy. When you're adding an 808 or a Riz bass, you want to make a shape like that, so it's going to stop playing after the note finishes. Let's try to add a slide here. That's crazy. That's insane. Right now I'm going to mix and arrange a bit the sample and then we can add some effects on it. It's a good thing to pan every element of your melody to give it some space to it. And I like to level my melody to 12 dB. Yeah, it's around that. Okay, so right now let's have a crowded intro. Let's pitch the main melody down one octave. It's going to be crazy. Then here in the verse we can come down again. Yeah. So right now I'm going to stem out the sample and I'm going to export it so you can find the link to download it for free in the comments. Let's clone the arrangement. Let's name it beat so we can have our sample here and we can add some effects on this. So let's try to pitch this up. Yeah, that's fire. Okay, but I still want to add some effects on these. So let's add gross beat. Here you can go in the presets and go in patterns. And I like to add this volume gate to give some movement to the melody. And uh, we can move down the volume. And then I like to mess around here. I don't really know what it does, but you can just experiment. Okay, and let's try to lower the velocity of this one. adding a really nice texture. Let's bring back the volume gate. Okay, now we can click on the plus here and name the new pattern drums. So right now I'm going to use the drums from my Enigma multi kit. And as I said before, you can find the link to download the, the free version in the link in the description. Or you can copy it if you want the full version. And by the way, you can find this uh, Enigma multi kit inside my cryptic multi kit. And they are both huge, so you're going to get a really good deal. Let's add this snare. Then let's add a hi-hat. Oh, this one is crazy. So now we can click alt R to randomize the pan and the velocity. And we can add some rows on this. I'm going to use one third step. Okay, now let's just copy this. Yeah, that's fire. Let's add also a head. I, l I really love this one. Yeah, but I want to wait before adding the head because I want it to follow the 808. So we're going to add the 808 first. But now let's add a snare. 
you want to place the snare in places that are going to add bounce and uh, these two are really common in trap. And here we can make a roll at the end. And I really like this roll, so I'm going to click Alt 2 to chop the notes. Yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, now it's time for the 808. Let's use the spins. So I'm just going to right click on the 808 and select cut itself so the notes are not going to clash together and as you can see the pen is uh, slightly on the right so I'm just going to click reset and uh, when you're using your 808 make sure to move the velocity all the way up. Oh yeah, I need to add the hat, let's add it right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked it remember to drop a sub, like and comment, see ya!